I created my very own club with the dream of one day seeing them in the Premier League. But we're still really far away from achieving that dream because we're starting in the fourth division of English football right at the bottom. All the way down. And life in EFL League 2 has not been easy. All we do is concede goal after goal, including some really comical own goals. And recently, we've even had our players get sent off. But amidst all the chaos, we were able to find a prodigy, Billy Wilson. I had no expectations from him but on his debut he literally proved himself as one of our best wingers could this wonder kid possibly save us from relegation okay guys you know what that's fear mongering we're not getting relegated we're, we're 12th in the league okay yeah no for a brief period we were in the relegation zone but now with billy wilson coming through the academy i feel like we've got ourselves a solid winger you guys saw in the last episode how he was just weaving through defenses he's quality gotta give my one star one star scout a bit of credit here cheers Felix for him. I'm really hoping with Billy Wilson straight up becoming a starter now. That can help us get some goals. Dave Rooney, new signing downs. We need goals from y'all. And we've got to start making a push further up, man. I need to get into the playoff spot and there's a big reason behind it. Remember that contract with Umbro? It said that we'll get a bonus for achieving promotion. But I think we forgot to read the terms and conditions. Because it says that if we're not in a playoff position by the time we're in January, they will pull out our deal. Guys, we'll literally lose our kit manufacturer mid-season. What are our players gonna wear? We're not letting that happen, boys. We are going to make it to the playoff position right now. We're three points off, but we're gonna have to be consistent. The thing is, if we can just survive to January, we've got three million in the bank, which we can use to, you know, boost the team with a few signings. So we just need to get there in a playoff position. Oh, we're playing Notts County. They're a challenging team. I'm pretty sure Notts County have only recently secured promotion to, of course, uh, EFL League 2. I'm hoping we can take advantage of that. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. We almost just conceded. Also, if Bernard Bernard gets himself sent off in this game, I'm going to be fuming. I'm, I'm tired of his uh, anger issues and antics. Oh, whenever Billy Wilson gets the ball, it feels like something will happen as he drives it forward. Looks for a nice pass for Downs. Go on. Does he have the pace, though? Still Downs. Looks for Dave. Dave Rooney strikes it, but what a save. Oh, another chance here. Dave Rooney, Bruh. what's he done? He just left the ball. Oh, this is so annoying, man. We're so lucky not to be a goal down here. Why does Thomas Arnold run like this? I've got no idea, but he's our center back. But look at him just bomb forward. And, well, he tried to shoot, but instead he literally clotheslined a Notts County defender. Oh, Dave Rooney, what a touch. That's what Dave Rooney can do. Goes for goal and he's actually scored. We've been waiting to see him get on the score sheet for a long time. Oh, he's doing the boxing celebration. And he's also practicing getting knocked out because that's apparently what happens when he does boxing sessions. But you know what? That touch from Rooney was class. And then the finish, not bad at all. We're not conceding Bernard Bernard. It's always scary seeing Bernard Bernard be the last one to defend, but no red card there. In fact, we could start a counter-attack here. Go on, Downs. That's the worst pass I think I've ever seen. Have we made a mistake signing a Damien Downs? Because so far, he's been absolutely useless for us up top. Please, we're not conceding. Please, no, 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 no. Oh, big save, Sam Dickel. I was ready to be disappointed. This is what Billy Wilson offers us, man. He's got pace, but he needs to keep that first touch under control. Keeps going forward here. Go on, Billy. Maybe a good cross in. It's a decent ball for Lennon Miller. Could he get his first nope. goal? Lennon! You nope. had to score that, and oh, we still couldn't score from the rebound, but we might still have a chance. No, we don't. Bernard Bernard going with an aggressive sliding challenge, but it didn't work out, and now it's all on Arnold, but he can't stop it. And no, oh, we can see. And of course we do. Billy's trying to do something here with pace. Go on. Oh, Dave Rooney's made a nice run. Please, a goal now would be amazing. The cross is the worst thing ever, but we might still score. Damien Downs, after all the criticism, has somehow ended up scoring. We'll take that. Also, check the clock, boys. It's a 90th minute winner for us. Boy, did we need that. I tell you, though, this goal was nothing to be proud of. It was such a scrappy goal. But hey, it's EFL League 2. What else do you expect? Come on, boys. That's a big win that we needed. But you know what? One win's not enough. We need to keep the momentum. Come on, Dave. Let's keep getting more goals. Guys, Bernard thinks that he's an overlapping fullback, and it's, it's yeah, kind of sad to see he couldn't do it. Don't concede. Don't concede. Don't concede. Don't concede. Please don't concede. Ah, uh, this passing nope. is annoying me. Good stuff, Lennon. Oh, we've got a chance here. Yeah, I think Downs is onside. 
that left pack was keeping him on. Downs. Yes, let's go. We take the lead. Let's go, boys. We've secured back-to-back -back wins. Oh, but I'm having to rotate the squad a little bit for our next game, which is always annoying. Let's see if we can get a win in this one. And of course, of course, it's an L. To be honest, though, we've climbed up pretty well. We're just outside the playoff position. Gotta keep pushing like this. Oh, and by the way, look at this. Some facts about our defender, Bernard Bernard. We already saw a brief from him when he got himself sent off the first player in S2GFC history this year to get himself a red card. He's also the first one to get a yellow card, I think. But yeah, this explains that he's got severe anger issues. Apparently, the reason his name is Bernard Bernard is because the doctors mistakenly spelled his name twice. Ah, that explains it. Oh, he went to the same school with killing Mbappe, but I doubt Mbappe even knows he exists. Tried injuring Mbappe while playing football at recess because he basically got nutmegged. Ooh, yep, that's definitely anger issues. Was born and raised in Monaco. Plays for France, though. Well, doesn't play for France. He's, he's not getting a national call-up. Honestly, I would have changed the legal name the moment I was legal to change it to something else. I don't know, maybe Bernard Bernard is a bit stupid and that's why he's not done it yet. Bro thinks he's cool because of going to school with Mbappe. I'm sure Bernard Bernard has flexed that a bit. I don't think it's worked, though. To be fair, he'd cook Mbappe right now. I'm not so sure about that, but I don't think we're facing PSG anytime soon. Back to the serious stuff now. We need to keep the win streak going and getting points on the board. I'm not interested in losing our kit manufacturer. Over on the charger, it's our captain done running forward. He's not really got any pace, but oh, a back heel. I didn't know he had that in his locker. <gasps> How did we not score from that? Lennon Miller's gonna strike one from distance. You know what? In EFL League 2 against these kind of keepers, I should be taking more long shots because you never know which keeper's gonna fumble it. Just don't be our keeper that fumbles it. Oh my, we concede. Is that Troy Deeney? What is Troy Deeney doing in EFL League 2? find that incredibly weird that a player that's usually in the championship or even in the Premier League is playing in League 2. Guys, we're getting cooked out here, which is not really a good thing. Please, can we can we not concede another goal? We might have just conceded a penalty. Don't get the ball so we don't give away the penalty. And yeah, we survived that. Honestly, guys, having Billy Wilson in this team is actually class. That's such a good cross, but Damien Downs. That header was awful. Bernard Bernard. Oh, he's put in a really bad challenge. And well, we almost conceded. We didn't. Do you know what, guys? Sometimes I feel Damien Downs is just a bit of a fraud. Just, just look what he does. I know he scored that late winner and all for us, but he's just, oh, I don't know how to describe it. I see a bit of space here by our captain, Don. If he can put a good cross in, bro, why can't our players cross a football properly? It's it's actually appalling. Go on, Lennon Miller. He's found a bit of space. Goes for it. But that's just embarrassing. Guys, we've been given a lifeline at the end to get a goal back, Rooney. And of course it is. Dave Rooney helps us get at least a point from this. What a scrappy game this was, man. Get me out of here. I'll take the point. Well, look at this. Even the media is talking about Damian Downs' fraudulent performances lately. I'm thinking for a few weeks, should we give Will Power a place back in the the team because i remember when he played he was actually half decent well we'll we'll try him out oh look at that dave rudy was nominated for player of the month he didn't end up winning it but that's good to see i really want to see dave rooney growing faster but i don't know if that's possible we'll put him on the mobile striker plan it looks like that's the fastest way he'll grow the truth is guys we really kind of need to hire more coaches but right now we've literally just maxed out the capacity we're just a teeny tiny club man like we've just got the capacity of having four staff Hopefully that changes if we get promoted because we need it to. Oh, we're playing Wrexham next. Ryan Reynolds' team. And yeah, I'm gonna give Power a shot in this because I'm not feeling the vibes with Damien Downs, man. Not gonna lie, a win against Wrexham would definitely feel nice. But this might also be our most challenging game in the division because Wrexham do have money. The Hollywood money. They're actually half decent. I swear defensively we're such a mess. We're lucky to not concede there. 25 minutes in, it feels like we've barely touched the ball, man. This is getting annoying. It's now 36 minutes and we've literally not got possession. Finally, boys, we actually got a touch of the ball and let's now try and keep it. Okay, maybe a chance before halftime. That would be the dream. And Randall down the left. He's got a bit of pace. And now that is bringing it inside. Looking for Will Power. Silva, proper chance. What was that? Oh, here goes Billy Wilson. Oh, beats one. 
Find space. Actually go sprint, but what a save. I'm telling you, boys. Billy Wilson is the one player that just has that X factor in our team. Guys, we're struggling. We're just getting ripped apart here by Wrexham. They're, like, too difficult for us, man. I don't know what to do here. And, oh, my God. Bernard, Bernard, once again showing his crazy aggression. This guy needs therapy, man. Honestly. Guys, what was he even doing? Bro, literally. We've conceded the silliest penalty ever. And, of course, they score. Billy Wilson is trying to get us something out of this game. But he's crowded out as well. Does really well to find Dave. Dave Rooney, let's go once again. We steal a point. I don't think we deserve this. But Dave Rooney gets us something out of nothing. Can I just say Billy Wilson deserves so much credit here for creating this chance? It was absolutely class. We'll take a point, boys. From that silly penalty we gave away, the point seems really nice now. Oh, by the way, just after that game, we got a scout report from our one-star, one-star scout. And as you expect, it's absolutely woeful. These players are all frauds. And talking about the Youth Academy, I was going through your comments. And a lot of you guys think investing in a second good scout is needed. Because this Felix Wickers guy, he's just absolutely useless. We thank you for finding Billy Wilson, but we're not sending you on any more scouting projects. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. The four-star, four-star scout that was available is actually gone. We're gonna have to wait to find a better one. Oh, guys, also in League 2, we've dropped down to 11th now because of all the draws, but we're just two points off a playoff spot, so if we can just get on a run of winning a few games, everything will be back to normal. But with this team, I just feel like I'm not able to play the football I kind of want. I mean, I know we don't have the players for it, but still, maybe there's something we can do. And after going through your comments, it seems like we should test out a new tactical vision and wing play was the big one. But it's going to make our players even worse because they're going to have to adjust to this new play style. But let's give it a shot. You never know if this works. Playing our next game. And I'm just hoping Bernard Bernard does not do anything crazy in this game. We need to get the win. I think Arnold's forgotten that he is a center back, but he's realized it now as he lets the ball through for Koch. Might be able to do something here. What a lovely ball. And Dave Rooney on the volley. That is one of the best goals we've scored. Dave Rooney channeling a bit of that Rooney class with that goal. That had a bit of waza in it. I've got to say, like, what a volley that was from Dave. Oh, he caught that one perfectly. No, 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 no. Let's not concede right after scoring, please. Oh, Sam Tickle, he saved us there. No, 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 we're not conceding. Arnold's got it covered. Good defending, but now they've still got the ball. Please. Oh, big save again from Sam. Do you know what? One thing I'll tell you, with the wing play, it really feels our wingers are getting involved so much more. And even our fullbacks, it really feels like the correct tactical setup. You guys were right. No, no, no. That is so silly, but Easy. Sam Tickle is putting in one of his best performance in an S2G FC shirt. This is bad. This is bad. There's only so much Sam Tickle can do. We concede. Maybe Billy Wilson with his trickery can save us in this game. That's what he did the last time. He's got something that nobody else has in this team. The dribbling still keeps going. Billy, lovely ball there for Dave. Ooh. But I don't think he's got it in him there. Ah, Full time and another draw. We literally draw merchants at this point. But hey, in terms of points, at least we're getting closer and closer to a playoff position. We just need like one win. I think we'll be then in a proper good spot. But it's, it's so difficult to just even get a win at this point. Anyways, in other news, I think there is finally a four-star, four-star scout available that is within our budget. 1.7 million. If we sign him up, we're not making any signings in January. That's for sure. But you know what? I think we'll do it. You guys are telling me that getting a scout is important. Let's do it. Let's trust the academy. We're going to fire this fraud. We don't need him. Uh, we're going to have to pay 8,000 just to fire him? Oh, well. Out. He's fired. Let's now send he to some country to get us some players. I'm thinking, why don't we send him to Brazil? Who knows? We don't have a single Brazilian in the squad. What if we get like a crazy Brazilian talent? That would be just insane. Let's send him there and see what he can pop up with. We're heading into our next game now and I'm putting Downs back in the team. I tried out Willpower. I wasn't feeling the vibes. Even though down scores only scrappy goals, we will take that at this point. Oh, by the way, we're wearing our third kit for the first time. I'd have a chance at a score from a set piece. Uh, why, why was I even thinking that would be possible? Here's Matteo Silva, our very own Spanish magician. Looks for Billy Wilson. Not the best of passes, but Billy's got it under control. Looking to attack as well. Go on, Billy. Show us what you're all about. Okay. Bit of nice dribbling there. Uh, the pass was decent. Might still have a chance. Go on, Dave. He needs to turn his man, but the dribbling 
And the finish was awful. Oh, Randall, what a ball that is for Dave Rooney. Gets it under control, but what a save. Was our defense sleeping? How have we let this guy get into a 1v1? No, he's going to score. Of course he does. We definitely need a bit of saving in this game, and maybe Billy Wilson can do that for us. Nope, he can't. Wait, guys, in the 83rd minute, we got a penalty to get something out of this. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this one with Dave. Has to be Dave Rudy. Come on, you've got to score this. We need him to score this pen, and let's go. The keeper dived the right way, but Dave Rudy got the job done. Guys, we are literally the biggest draw merchants you'll ever see. Somehow, we end up drawing every game we play. Ah, the draws are not helping us, boys. We're 12th now in League 2. Still because of how tight things are. All we need is a win to change things. But I just realized our next game is against the best team in the division, Gillingham, who are top of the league. In other news, guys, the media have been taking notice to Billy Wilson. 17-year-old Wonderkin dribbles through whole team on his debut. Has s 2 FC found the next Raheem Sterling. That's actually a very good comparison because Billy Wilson feels exactly like that. Lacks a bit of end product at times, but his dribbling is probably the best in the team. But you know what, guys? This picture might be of Damien Downs. And you know what I noticed? Guys, just, just look at Damien Downs and now look at Billy Wilson. Bro, why do they look so identical? Is it just the hairstyle? I don't know. You guys can let me know. Here we go. Officially our toughest game of the season against the number one team in the division. We need need to win to push further up. If we can beat them, maybe that'll give us a lot of confidence too. And here is the supposed next Raheem Sterling, already showing what he's all about. Good football there from him. We're moving the ball around really nicely. And Dave Rooney shoots. Oh, that was actually a good attempt. Randall, back post. Proper chance and let's go. We've scored Will Power that do. I decided to start him in this game because I literally forgot to put Downs into the team. And well, he's rewarded me with the goal. Bernard, Bernard, nothing silly in this game. We need a good performance from you and the rest of the defense. But uh, it's, it's tough because we almost always after going 1-0 up, do something silly and end up drawing or losing. Why was Bernard not there? Arnold had to save us. Oh my. No, this is where I'm scared. I'm scared. Bernard, Bernard, they're showing a bit of composure. Oh, that's more like it. But don't don't get him angry, guys, please. No, we've Easy. just been opened up. Sam Tickle, you're a legend. Oh, Billy's got a lot of space here to work with. And he slid through Dave Rudy with a proper chance here. Go on, Dave. Can he actually score this? No, why was Dave trying to do it with the outside of his right boot? You, you've not got the techers to do that, man. Oh, Billy Wilson. Billy Wilson. Billy Wilson keeps going. No, that would have been his first goal, but we'll take the own goal. Billy Wilson somehow created that out of nothing. Let's go. He's claiming it, but yep, it's going to be an own goal. Are we actually beating the best team in the division? Our team is just so random, man. Against the big boys we perform, but then we just lose to random opponents. This might be Billy Wilson's best performance in an S2 GFC shirt. The dribbling has been spot on. He's moving the ball around so nicely. Randall here with the chance. We almost got a third. But that's full time, and we'll take a 2-0 win against the number one ranked team in the division. That was unbelievable. And we're now heading into December, just outside a playoff position. Honestly, if we can have a good month, win a couple of games, I think we would have done enough to get, of course, that playoff position, and then we don't have to worry about Umbro just backing out the deal. Nah, nah, nah. Next episode, we're gonna do everything possible to keep that Umbro contract.